The upper section of the hydrant is commonly referred to as the nozzle section or the head. The operating nut is usually five-sided so that it requires a special wrench to operate it. The uppermost section of the barrel is called the bonnet and the upper barrel is the portion above ground that carries the water to the nozzles. The outlet nozzles are where hoses can be connected and are usually two and a half or four and a half inch connections. The smaller connections are for connecting hoses directly to the hydrant and the larger connections are for connecting a pumper suction hose to the hydrant. The nozzles are capped to protect the nozzle threads. The lower section consists of the lower barrel, the main valve, and the base. The lower section is mostly buried, however it extends about two inches above ground where it's connected to the upper barrel. The main valve assembly includes the operating stem and a resilient valve gasket. The base of the hydrant is also called the shoe, inlet, elbow, or footpiece. The base is usually made from Every hydrant should have an auxiliary valve installed nearby. This allows the hydrant to be isolated from the system for maintenance or repair. Systems that have hydrants installed without auxiliary valves should consider installing one on the line feeding the hydrant. Hydrants should be placed two feet off the curb, fed by a minimum main diameter of six inches. An auxiliary valve should be installed between the hydrant and the main and a breakaway flange should be installed two inches above the ground surface. These are important things to remember for your exam. The National Fire Protection Association, the NFPA, recommends the following practices regarding the testing, classification, and marking of fire hydrants. There needs to be a minimum of 20 PSI residual during fire flow events, and this is to prevent contamination of the distribution system. A Class AA hydrant is a hydrant that flows greater than 1,500 gallons per minute, and that should be marked with a blue color. A Class A hydrant flows between 1,000 and 1,499 GPM, and that's marked with a green color. A Class B hydrant has flow in the range of 500 to 999 gallons per minute, and that's marked orange. And a Class C hydrant has flow that's less than 500 gallons per minute, and those are marked red. The color markings are recommended on the hydrant bonnet and nozzle caps. However, some systems make the decision to paint the entire hydrant.